Hello and welcome to the unit on database management. This unit consists of 20 marks and this is the part 14 of this particular unit. I hope you have watched the other parts of this unit. If not, the links are given in the description. You can always go and check them out. So today's topic of discussion is constraints in SQL and specifically we are going to deal about foreign key constraint. The other type of basic constraints like primary key constraints, not null constraint, uh, default constraints, all these are discussed in the previous part that is the part 13. So let us discuss about the foreign key constraints. So as you already know, constraints means such some kind of restrictions that are applied to the relations in SQL, which we have already learned in the previous part. Now let us discuss what is the meaning of foreign key before going to the foreign key constraints. So what is a foreign key? As we have already discussed in the unit on, not in the unit, in the part on types of keys, a foreign key is a non-key attribute whose values are derived from the primary key of some other table. So remember, it is such an attribute whose values we will take from the primary key of some other table. So if there is a foreign key, it should immediately come to your mind that we are talking about more than one tables. Okay, foreign key cannot be implemented only on a single table. There should be more than one table and from one table, we will reference to the primary key of a of another table. It will be more clear when we go for the practical problems. We will go for the practicals also after a few minutes from now. So it is a field in one table that refers to the primary key in another table. So you will come to know that foreign key is such a field which is referring to primary key in another table. Since it is referring to primary key in another table, it is known as a foreign key. It is used to prevent actions that to destroy link between the tables. So why are we studying foreign key? We are studying foreign key so that the link between two tables can be established and the user cannot enter any and every value. There should be some kind of restriction on entering the values. So those kind for prevent uh, for taking up those kind of restriction foreign key is applied. So as an example, let us consider two tables. One is the customer tables and the other is the order table. So in the customer table, we will have the following columns. The columns are SID, which will be taken as a primary key, last name and first name. We will have another table, which is the orders table. Within the order, orders table, we will have the following columns, which are order ID, order date, customer SID and amount. Out of this, the order ID will be the primary key of the orders table and customer SID will be the foreign key of the orders table. Now, since customer SID is the foreign key of the orders table, customer SID is to be linked to the SID of the customer table. That means whatever values we will enter for SID in the customer table, the same value should be entered in the customer SID of the orders table. Let us try to understand it with the help of an example. Now what I'll do, I'll create a database called shop and within the database, I will create these two tables and specify the foreign key and the primary key as you can see in these two tables. So let us create the database. So I'll go to SQL. This is the SQL screen as you can see now. So let me create a database. So create database shop. So I've created a database. The name of the database is shop. Now let me use this database for using this database. We will use the command use database name. Database name is shop. So I'll give use shop. Now let me create these two tables. At first, let me create the customer table with the columns SID, last name and first name, where SID being the primary key. So let me create it, create table, customer, then the first column was SID. So it will be an integer. I have to give it as primary key. So the condition is I have to give not null. If you haven't studied about primary key constraint, please visit the previous part 
of this um, of the video and then you will understand how to set up primary key not null primary key so SID has been set as primary key next column was last name here I'll use the data type as Farker let's give me here 30 and last finally we have first name first name yes let me use the data type as Farker let me give here as 30 no issues so I have successfully created the sorry there is some kind of mistake oh yeah I made a mistake here here I had to give a bracket yeah so I have successfully created the customer table now let me create the orders table in orders table I have the column order ID order date customer SID and amount where order ID is the primary key and customer SID is what customer SID is the foreign key so let me create it create table orders so first we have order ID it is a primary key int not null primary key then we have what we have order date since it is a date let me give the data type as date then next we have customer SID mind you this is the foreign key then finally we have amount amount let's give me let's give this column as float all right now which is the foreign key here customer SID is the foreign key now how to set up foreign key after writing all the columns at the end you will write the word foreign key then whatever column you want to make as the foreign key you write the name of that particular column here I want to make customer SID as the foreign key so I am writing customer SID here now foreign key has to be linked to the primary key of another table now this customer SID will be linked to the primary key of the customer table which is the primary key of the customer table SID is the primary key of the customer table so how to link for linking we have to use a word the word is called references so we will give here references references what customer because that primary key is in the customer table so let me use it like that references customer from the customer table which column is the primary key SID all right in this way what we do we create a primary key okay so I'm saying again you will write the word foreign key then whatever column is the foreign key in this table you write the name of that column here customer SID is the foreign key so we are writing customer SID then for linking we have to use the word references then from which table we want to reference from the customer table so I've written customer table within customer table which column we want to link we want to link the SID column so I've written here SID after that I have closed the bracket and given a semicolon here so now we have created both the table the customer tables and the orders table now what we need to do we need to insert the values so before that let me show you till now what we have done till now we have created the tables first is the customer table where SID last name and first name were the columns where SID is the primary key of this particular table then we created the orders table which has the columns order ID order date customer SID and amount where customer SID is the foreign key which is referencing to the SID of the customer table now let us go to the data insertion part so at first you will enter data in the customer table you will enter data in that table which do not have the foreign key customer table does not have the foreign key so we will enter data on the customer table based on the data of the customer table the data of orders table will be validated okay so let us insert values into the customer table so what is the syntax insert into table name table name is customer then values at first what we have we have SID SID is integer let's give SID as 2001 
Then we have last name. Last name let's give as Kalita. Then we have first name. First name let's give as Pranjal. Okay, we have inserted one row. Let's insert the second row. I'll give, let's give SID as 2002. Let's give the last name as Day and let's give the first name as Raj. Okay, let me insert one more row. Now I'm typing manually. Insert into customer values. Let's give the SID as 2003. Then last name as let's say Patel and first name as let's say Rahul. All right. So what we have done? We have inserted values into the customer table. So let me display this table so that you can see what values are inserted for displaying. We use the select command select star from table name that is customer. So these, uh, this is the table which has been created now. Now after creating after inserting values in the customer table. Now we will insert values in the orders table. Now here since customer SID is the foreign key while entering values it must be ensured that whatever values we are inserting in customer SID it should tally with the values of the SID in the customer table. Let me insert values now. So insert into table name. Table name is what? Table name is your orders. Then we have values we have to insert order id let me give see order id order date customer sid and amount order id is one let me give date as we can give any date let me give as 2019 let's give 11 zero eight. here the date data type takes a year then month and then date okay y y y y m m and dd okay you should follow this syntax while entering any date of the date data type now here I have to enter customer SID. So whatever customer SID I will enter now, it should be within 2001, 2002 or 2003. Now let me enter 2001. Then I have to enter what? I have to enter amount. Let me enter amount. I can enter any amount here. It, the data type is float. So let me enter as 6,000.50 pesa. All right. Then Again, let me enter the second value, insert into orders value. Let me give the order ID as 2, date let me give as 20, 2019, 11 and 10. You can give any name, any date as long as the format is correct. Let me give the, uh, this one, customer SID as 2002, 2002 is present in the customer table. So it will work fine. Let me give the amount as 450 rupees. Let me insert another row here. Insert into orders. Values. I have to give order ID. Let me give order ID as 3. I have to give date. Let me give the same date as the previous row 2019, 11, 10. I can give the same date because it is not the primary key. Now let me give the uh, this one customer SID as 2050 that is 2050. Uh, and let me give the amount as 3400. Now, as I press the enter key, I'm getting an error here. Read the error. A foreign key constraint fails. Now, why am I getting the error? I'm getting the error because in case of here, customer SID, customer SID was a foreign key, which is being linked to the SID of the customer table. Therefore, Whatever values I am I have entered in the SID column of the customer table, the same values should come in the SID column of the orders table. But I am trying to enter 2050 here. But is 2050 available in the customer table of SID? Is 2050 available in the SID column of customer table? No, 2050 is not available there. What are the value values that are available there? 2001, 2002 and 2003. Therefore, 2050 will not be accepted because I'm saying again, 
it is a foreign key which is being linked to the SID column of the customer table. So this is the restriction which is being put by foreign key. Now let me display the orders table, select star from orders and you will see that only the first two rows are being inserted. The third row has not been inserted. Why? Because it is violating the foreign key constraint. I hope it is clear, but since the con concept is a bit critical, I'll discuss it again in the slide. So after creating the table, what we did, we inserted the values. At first, we inserted the values of the customer table because there is no foreign key there. So insert values at first into that table which do not have any foreign key. So insert in the customer values, we have inserted three rows in the customer tables. Okay, fine. Then we have displayed the customer table. This was the customer table. Then what we did, we went on to insert values into the orders table. So we inserted the first row, we inserted the second row and we inserted the third row. But in the third row, for the customer SID column, what we did, we took the value as 2050. But is 2050 present in the SID column of the customer table? No, it is not present, but it should be present. Why? Because customer SID is what? Customer SID is a foreign key which is linked to the SID column of the customer table. Therefore, it will generate an error. Why it will generate an error? Because 2050 is not present in SID of customer table. What is the error? The error is cannot add or update a child row, a foreign key constraint fails. So finally, when I displayed the tables orders, I'm getting only the first two rows. I'm not getting the third row because here the foreign key constraint has been violated. Okay, I hope the concept is clear. You should implement it practically in SQL so that the concept is much more clearer and you can implement it in your other table also. That's all for the day. Thank you very much. I hope the concept is clear.